In this video, we'll walk you through the best practices for editing efficiency in Wondershare Filmora 12. First, let's talk about the switchable workspace layouts. In Filmora 12, editors can easily switch between different workspaces to create a suitable and efficient work environment by clicking on this icon at the top right-hand side. There are six different workspaces, each one of them serve a different purpose. The default workspace layout is the original layout panel of Wondershare Filmora 12, which also provides a project info panel on the right-hand side of the screen, which displays the project information related to the project on which you're currently working. It includes project name, project location where it's saved, project resolution, frame rate, color space, as well as the duration of the project timeline. This workspace is tailored for beginners for easy access to project information. In organized workspace layout, the media panel gets extended to the bottom line. It's very helpful when you have lots of video clips and media assets in your project and you want to save time when sorting or searching through them. The timeline workspace layout is specifically for extending the project timeline section. When activated, you get a project info panel on the right side of the preview window, but without affecting the project timeline underneath. That way, you get a wider view of your project timeline. The short video workspace layout is best suited for creators who intend to edit short form vertical videos, for example, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or even TikTok videos. The preview window gets moved to the right side of the screen, giving you a full view of your vertical video which is being edited. This is very handy and saves a lot of time. The classic workspace layout is for people who like the way it looked with the original version of Filmora in the previous versions. This is very helpful when you don't have time to learn the new layout and just want to stick with the original workspace. The dual workspace layout works best for people who are accustomed to multiple monitors. When you switch over to dual workspace layout, the preview window, along with the project info panel, gets moved over to your second monitor. This gives you the ability to organize and edit your project a lot faster with wider media panel access as well as the project timeline while maintaining a full view of your edited footage on the second monitor. And the best part is, you can resize all of these panels by dragging the edges to further personalize your editing environment in Wondershare Filmora 12. Now let's talk about the keyboard shortcuts for editing efficiency. You can view and edit the keyboard shortcuts in Filmora 12 by clicking on the toolbox icon at the top right hand side and then select Keyboard Shortcuts which opens up the shortcuts panel. On the left hand side, the keyboard shortcuts are divided into several categories making it easier for you to edit the keyboard shortcuts for specific purposes and functions. Filmora 12 also offers you to switch to different default presets of other video editing softwares such as Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple Final Cut Pro. Your custom keyboard shortcuts are now saved. So there are the editing efficiency tips on Wondershare Filmora 12. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel to keep getting awesome Filmora tutorials. Hope to see you in our next video. Till then, Bye.